What's up, everyone? Um, another quick update. So I got my truck put back together. It runs. It runs pretty good, surprisingly enough. I'm going to try to not blind myself with the light here. But um, so it was amazingly running. I wouldn't expect that. But uh, the, I'm having a problem right now where it's kind of hard to start. It'll start pretty fine, cold, and then it'll be hard to start uh, when it warms up. But uh, also, when I, I noticed when I stop at a stop sign or stoplight, that uh, when I first hit the gas to go, it's, it hesitates, kind of sputters for about a quick fraction of a second, and then it'll go just fine. And then I started noticing there's a smell of fuel coming from my engine. So I, uh, I bought a fuel pressure gauge and I went to go do that but you know instead of putting that on and just checking after smelling the fuel I thought let's check the work that I've done so I uh, took off the bare minimum I could so I can get my upper uh, intake plenum up and I could so I could look into the fuel rail and sure enough when I'm looking at the, the fuel rail the injectors sit inside these like thick washer rubber grommets kind of things and I could already tell looking at looking at it two of them are destroyed I don't know what I did or how I did it but it they're torn apart and yeah I really screwed it up so <clears throat> I gotta go back in and do that and I'm thinking that's maybe my problem that might not be my only my, my only problem but that's definitely a big problem so I got to fix that, and then if it doesn't, if that doesn't fix the problem, I'm going to put the fuel pressure gauge on it and see, see what kind of pressure I'm getting. Because uh, originally I was thinking it was my fuel pump going out. But, um, so yeah, hopefully this is the only problem. Unfortunately, those six washers that sits under the fuel rail cost, I can't get them at the auto parts store. I can get them on eBay. Can't get them on Amazon, but I can get them on eBay 6 for about 30 to 40 bucks. And of course, this time around, I don't want to wait a week for them to show up. So I expedited it for like the next business day. So I had to pay an extra 20 bucks. So a total of 60 now I paid for this just to get these, these guys in by Saturday. So once I get those in, I'm going to take my time and hopefully they will uh it, this will fix the problem and i'll be good to go other than that the truck's running great trucks actually has quite a bit of uh power power that i didn't notice it had before so i think cleaning out the some of the gadgets on the intake actually uh did the trick so yeah um getting down to it so hopefully i'll be making one more <laughs> video for my truck just to let you guys know that it's all fixed and good to go. So yeah, uh, I'm doing what I can do to, to pay off my debt. And doing so is doing the mechanics of my own vehicles. Instead of taking it in or just buying new, another vehicle. So this, I got to do what I got to do. Luckily, I have my motorcycle to get to and from work. And if I have to go to a store or anything, I still have my motorcycle to ride around in. So there you have it. Uh... Quick update, I'm not going to go too much more into this, uh, just just like I've been saying in the last couple videos, stick with it. Life is going to throw you some crap. <clears throat> Sometimes that crap is your own doing, like I probably could have done a better job putting the fuel rail in. I'm going to assume that this was all my fault. <clears throat> I probably wasn't careful enough or didn't pay close enough attention to detail. And so now I have destroyed ring or O-rings that need to be there so yeah uh just stick with it you're gonna screw up the universe is gonna throw you curveballs whatever it is you just gotta stick with it and do what you gotta do to pay off that debt all right thanks guys uh hopefully be updating again here tomorrow the next day see ya